Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the AMSA injection, and the landmarks for this injection are the premolars and the midline here, and you want to go about halfway between the free gingival margin and the very middle of the palate, kind of where the horizontal, the horizontal and the vertical planes meet. Then I'm just going to feel around until I find a nice springy spot, and right here feels nice and springy. So that is going to be my site. Okay, so you're going to use the pressure anesthesia. I've applied the topical onto this same Q-tip, and I'm just going to be pushing very firmly for at least a minute. Two minutes is better. And this injection is going to get the premolars and the anterior teeth, the incisors, and the canine on the side of injection, and they're going to become anesthetized pulpally. And it's also going to get the palate from the molars to the central. So it gets the entire side of the palate on the, of the tissue, and it gets pulpally the premolars and the uh, anterior teeth. And on the facial side, it only gets the gingiva on, this, on the teeth that are also getting pulpally numb. So it gets the gingiva of the premolars and the canine and the incisors. It does not get the lip. So that's one of the advantages because the patient is, is going to be able to smile and the lip won't be numb. So I'm using lots of pressure. The depth for this is going to be about four millimeters. And so now I've been giving the pressure for about one minute. I'm pushing pretty firmly and you want to make sure that you hold the Q-tip in such a way that you've left an open path for the syringe to come in and you're not blocking your own way. So I'm going to sneak it in. As soon as I'm pretty close, I'm just going to hop out of the way and go where the Q-tip was, and I'm just going to start giving some drops. I haven't aspirated yet. I'm just giving some drops on my way in, and now I've contacted. So I'm going to aspirate and continue. And you're just going to start to see a lot of blanching. And you have to go pretty slow on this one because we're going to end up depositing three-fourths to one entire cartridge on the pallet. So you have to go nice and slow. You don't want to give more than a third of a cart in less than a minute. So that's about the rate. third of a cart to a minute. So you can start to see the blanching. I'm going to move the Q-tip. And I've already told the patient that they're going to stay open for a while, or wide for quite a while, and it's going to take, you know, a few minutes for this one, so that they know. And after about a third of a carp, I like to just kind of stop for a minute and let it dissipate. You don't want to see the ballooning. Doing okay, Julie? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so the blanching needs to spread all the way up there to those front teeth and all the way back to the posterior. So the entire side of the palate is going to be um, looking very blanched. Okay, so as you can see, the blanching is spreading all the way anterior. So if it wasn't, then I would just walk it forward a little bit and give just a little bit more right in the front where I needed it. But on her, the blanching is spreading quite nicely. I'm a little bit more than a half a carp, so I'm almost done. And I think we're just about good. It, it needs a little bit more in the posterior, though. I don't know if you can pick that up but on the molar teeth. It's not quite as blanched as it is up there on the anterior. So I'm going to wait and see if that spreads a little bit. If not, and if she needed a little bit more soft tissue um, anesthesia, I would walk it back there. Okay, but the most important thing is, is that it got numb all the way to the anterior. Little. So when you're done, you should see a little bit of blanching on the gingiva up in the front, and you can barely see it on her. I don't know if it's the color's going to show, but it does look whiter up here in the anterior and premolar area. And then go ahead and open. I don't know if you can see it, but the blanching needs to spread from about here all the way back. 